Hey YouTube, we're gonna do a couple videos on replacing the ramp in a Data East Simpsons pinball machine. Uh, this reproduction is available from Jody at rampomatic.com. But I've been getting by, this is a factory ramp that has a huge blowout under this side that I had to make a custom stainless steel protector for. And there's about this much of it completely missing. I'll show you when I get this removed, but I just made this out of an old side rail from a parted out game. And it's been holding up fine, but if I have the replacement on the shelf, I might as well use it. And I will try and install this back on the reproduction too, just to protect that side, because I still had the factory just metal piece here that was double-sided taped on there. And I don't know if there was supposed to be one on this side too, but it was obviously missing. And then there was a huge blowout in mine. So I'll probably try to keep that on there and I'll transfer that over there as well. But this is one gigantic ramp. So all in one piece and it goes behind the, the back panel. And I've already removed my my millions plastic. You can reach under the play field with it up. And there's a Z-type connector. So it's gonna be a, a female and then a double male, then a female connector you can undo. All of the ramp wires are also on a Z connector down there too. So just make sure that they're probably different sizes of plugs so you don't get it mixed up. But I just left the Z connector on this one and I took it off of that one. That way I couldn't cross connect them. And there are a lot of things mounted on this ramp. I'm going to try and transfer all the factory decals. Jody outlines a, a freeze spray method where you can break the adhesive and then clean it off and then use 3M transfer adhesive to put them back on. So there's quite a few decals on here. And then there are also decals on all the flasher domes. So I'm just gonna reuse all the flasher domes. And I had him as an option, I believe it was a drop down on his website, where he would install new flasher sockets for each one of the flashers. So I think those are already on my reproduction. I see to transfer over the domes that have a machine screw and an acorn plastic nut, but I'd have to transfer all the wiring over. And there's also an exit ramp switch, and also there's an entrance ramp switch under this gate. And then the, the light for your, your jackpot or shoot twice for mystery value, that assembly is gonna have to come with us too. So everything's kind of loose now. There was uh, just the two flap screws there. Um, there's nothing behind the back panel. And just be careful when you're raising and lowering the play field. I'll kind of I'll do it on camera here. My ramp really hits those back wires. So with everything loose, just, just make sure that you're not going to wreck, either rip the wires out or bend your ramp. So you got to, on my machine anyway, I have to be kind of careful of that. And then over on this side, there was a, a mount here to hold it down. And then I still have, I think I got that out. There's another mount by the railing. I need a, a spacer for that. Mine's missing. And another one down here. And then other things that I'll have to transfer over on the ramp, there is a, a ball trap guide here that will need to be riveted. But it's nice that all the flasher domes are just going to be screws instead of rivets. And then Jody has already riveted the socket for the flashers on. So I'll have to take this out, get the decals off, put the wiring over, and then refit the new ramp. And we'll stitch some videos in for that. Okay, back with kind of a, a midway progress video got all the decals transferred over uh here's the the old ramp and then compared to the new ramp it's so clear you can almost lose it without this bag underneath but to get these old ones off i use free spray freeze spray which is just canned air held upside down this is outlined in jody's video and then starting on one corner kind of started to get it peeled and then you can slowly pull it off and then luckily for these decals, it actually left all of the old adhesive on the old ramp, and I just had to make sure that this was clear and clean with, I used the isopropyl alcohol, 91%, and then cotton swabs just to make sure that there, there wasn't any leftover adhesive there, but there was very minimal because it all was frozen and stuck to that ramp. Now, when I started the peel, I also kind of, it was tough to start, but once it was started, it was easy to go. And that kind of left a, a dig up in that corner that probably wouldn't lay down very nice once it got transferred to the new adhesive. This is just the adhesive you can get off of Amazon. I think I got a five pack of foot by foot sheets. I uh, certainly don't need five. I, I think this project probably used no more than two. And then there's also some odd shapes left as cutouts. But to get rid of that dug up corner on there, I just sliced this about an eighth of an inch short. So on all of these decals for this ramp, there's a large clear portion. Like this, this decal starts here and ends up here. But I just started at the 
point furthest from the art so that I could cut that off flush and have nice clean cuts. And then to figure out where these should go, again, I had adhesive marks on the old ramp. So I just put pieces of tape approximately where those started and ended so that I could center the, the re-adhesive decal in there. And there's quite a bit on this ramp to do. I think there was a total of eight different decals to do. So this is probably will end up taking about half of the overall time for this project is getting those decals moved over. I also decided at the end of this ramp on the factory one, there's kind of a, a foam strip here, like a, a beer seal. It's not even full height. Uh, I'm gonna try one of these blue pads and see how that works. Williams used those a lot more than Daddy East. But one issue that might be, or might be caused by this blue pad, I, I don't know if the ball's gonna come down so fast that it bounces up and then drains, but I'll just kinda have to play around with that. And if, if this is too hard and too much of a bounce back, I'll probably just put beer seal on there like you would put under a lockdown bar. Now some other things, some other tips that uh, I don't think Jody did in his video because he didn't screw up. Um, I, I was working with one of, I think it was this decal. I had it peeled off and uh, these decals are really flimsy and this one kind of uh, curled like a ribbon and it was hard to get laid down flat. And the first time I tried it, I, I got a crease in it on this and I was kind of, stuck as to whether I should try to lay down the rest and try to get that crease out or if I should try to peel it back up. And then it just dawned on me, if I made a mistake here, I can just spray it back off. So if you make a mistake, just stop what you're doing. Don't let any more lay down. Just do more free spray and take it off with the new adhesive and start the process over. And then it worked great. I just happened to do that one twice. Now I also went through and did the wire management clips on this. So these are all just double-sided to the end. It's just a four-way cross that you can put a zip tie through. I marked out approximately where those locations were on the old ramp. That's what these tape marks are. But you can tell that the old, the old tape is pretty yellowed and unsightly. And now I have nice, fresh white tape in there. And this is just the standard 3M Scotch brand. 3M Scotch? I don't know. From Walmart that you can get. It kind of has that old, tiny 70s tablecloth finish to it. But it's a, almost a perfect height for those. You just need to trim off a little bit. I think there's a total of six. So I have those going all around. And then we have all of the, the flasher sockets riveted already from Jody. Then when I took off the domes, um, I made a note that this one was Homer. That one was Marge, Lisa, Maggie, and then Bart. So they don't go in order of the family. Bart's last, but then the other ones are in order. So I still need to swap everything over for switches. Uh, it's nice that these wires don't go through a hole, so I don't need to unsolder those wires on the two switches. I will have to desolder and resolder all the wires on the, on the flasher sockets though. So I think that's gonna go a heck of a lot faster than kind of the time consuming part of doing all the decals. And I, these decals are available. I think they were about 40 bucks for Marcos. Um, I already had this stuff on hand and I just had to go get a new bottle of free spray. So I didn't have too much into it. I, and I think for the the quality that it turned out, it's probably time well spent. It took me a couple hours, but um, obviously if you're in a hurry or someone's paying you to do this, probably just go get new decals. I have noticed and not necessarily for this machine or Marco decals in general. Uh, sometimes the, the reproduction stuff you can tell is not quite like the original too so I, I would like to keep things as original as possible whenever that's possible uh, another tip that i came across on this bart decal you could probably see under the skateboard there's some there's some paint missing wherever this mounts in the machine there's something that rubs on the bottom and this decal actually had some tears in it and i was kind of worried about if i started here when it was upside down and peeled it away by freezing it that when i got to here it might actually tear it off so in that area, I actually peeled all the way up into it from one end and then from the other end, and then I peeled into it from there. Just in case if it did break, I, I wouldn't have a complete tear through it. And it, it has a few holes in it, but it, it survived. And again, it's, it's not perfect, and that spot's probably going to rub again. I maybe could put a piece of mylar on the bottom, too, if it's, I think it's going to be an issue. But... Getting there, and then one thing I probably won't do, there's some posts here from where that up kicker dumps into the ramp. I probably won't put these ball trap preventers in because it kind of blocks that one flasher. And this is going to be a home use machine, so I guess if, it, if it's an issue, I can always put those back. 
We are back with the reproduction ramp installed. I wanted to show you the old one. I took the protector off, but you can see how much of that side was missing. This was actually darn near possible to get that with that chunk missing. You can almost make it into that up kicker that you normally have to go under the ramp for with that missing. I was also able to reuse this protector. Again, I made that over a decade ago and I was pretty proud of it at the time and I was pretty pumped because with that I could actually keep using that ramp because reproductions at that time weren't available. But now that I have that reproduction in there, I thought my original ramp was in good shape, but this one looks so much better. It literally looks brand new. Everything's crystal clear. You can't tell really that I reused the decals or anything else. It just looks really fantastic. So big shout out to Jody at rampomatic.com for making another great product. Um, I did speak a little too soon about not having wires go through holes to transfer the wires over. The wires for these two lamps do go through a hole there, so these had to be unsoldered. And obviously all the flash lamps had to be soldered in. The switches just came right off though and you could screw them back into the new ramp. But everything is play tested and working, fits great. It's a nice smooth ramp. And then with that blue pad on the end, I was kind of worried that we'd have a bunch of bounce outs or bounce ups before it drained. But we can uh, put a ball up here on the top of the ramp. Um, I'm not gonna throw it up the ramp. I don't know if you've ever seen people try to do that on video, but it never works. Maybe I can throw it from here and go around. We'll see how it just drops nice and easy. Doesn't bounce up at all, even on, even on a faster one. So I am very happy. I feel like my Simpsons got a little bit of a new lease on life. So thank you, Jody.